Hey everyone, it's Tracy coming to you from my channel, Tracy at the Mermaid Cove. And also you can follow me on Instagram at Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. Um, yeah. And I hope you like what you see or enjoy, um, and stick around and become, as they say, part of the family, the very small family, but we're looking to expand. So if you can comment and like and subscribe and all that fun stuff, I'd love to have you here and interact with you and get to know you. So thank you. This is a quote unquote unboxing that's unboxed. My friend has requested that she not have to watch me open up a box. You know who you are, so okay. So I'm, I'm gonna try to move this without it just like freaking out. Okay, I see my mess everywhere. Okay, so this is a hodgepodge and I'm gonna say months, probably. So, but I wanna tell you, so I have been getting my cat food. Now my cat had his colon mostly removed. So I've been getting this sensitive stomach um, and skin. And you know, it's a little bland, but whatever they put in Fancy Feast makes his behind stuff smell so bad. And when he has this, it's regular. So you just wonder. The colon must do a good job of getting stuff out. And now his little intestines um, have to do the job. And it's been a struggle. And it's almost aged me 10 years. But we are, I have a litter box in my living room. My whole life revolves around this. Um, but you do this for the things you love and he's my little soulmate and you do it. Anyway, so I've been getting that cause you know, I don't want to go into, um, you know, I just don't go into a lot of places. If I can help it. I have Dollar Tree and Trader Joe's, yes. But PetSmart, I can get online. You know, so that's what I'm doing. Okay. My other thing is I have birds. My mom loved birds and we're struggling, me and my birds, because I haven't found the right bird food. Now, eventually they'll eat it, but one bird, I don't know, he's a little bird, kind of brownish, I don't know, I don't know my birds. I know my, I have a cardinal, I have blue jays, so yeah. But this bird gets angry and it kind of yells at me. My friend, Michelle, can attest, I'm not exaggerating, was screaming at me for food. Now. I have two little beans in this house that food is just a, a constant source of why aren't you giving it to me? Can I now train a bird or have a bird train me to like run out and give it food? No. I had to draw the line with the birds. Do it in the morning and I'm going to get what I'm going to get. And if they don't like it, I'm going to try something new. But so I got this. Um, it is a Wagner's Your Backyard Birds Deserve the Best. Don't, that's just terrible. Come on, it, your birds and your back des, your, deserve the best. That's, and not that, and that just the stupidest thing. I, that's so what's going on with this country. What's the best? That's annoying. I don't like that. That's just ridiculous. Deluxe blend, deluxe wild bird food. So I don't know. That stuff I got them, I could have eaten. Not impressed. I really didn't like it. So I'm going to try this. All kinds of good reviews on it. And then I also got, so I thought maybe I could do a mix. <gasps> okay, jeez, these. See, it's these evil things that. Okay, well, I'm not eating it. But anyway, see if I... again, Wagner Gourmet. Your back, your backyard birds deserve the best. That is so dumb. Songbird banquet, a feast for your songbirds. So, um, tracks finches, cardinals, jays, chickadees, and more. I wonder if there was a chickadee. I'm going to have to look that up. So I thought maybe a blend of those two. I know they're going to like the sunflower seeds. Um, and then hopefully I'll get sunflowers like I did last year. <sighs> okay. More animal stuff. Now, during all this beginning of this stuff, I was, you know, freaked out. And I every time I saw something on the news, I would order more cat food or more litter. Like literally everyone that knows me knows this. Because you know what? I can eat crap in my pantry and be fine. My cats won't do that. So I didn't want to run out of food. So I still have a stash, like in case, you know, all hell's breaking loose in the next year. I, I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, my cat, I tried, um, now I got the wrong one. Jeez Louise. It says for kittens and adult cats. Not right. Um, turkey feast. Gravy lovers, my little girl likes this one because I got like a collection of three and um, it had like beef, turkey, and chicken and she really loved the turkey and he ate the beef. 
I don't know. So she should have older cat food too. It says adult cats. Anyway, doing a little stock up. And we should probably kick. Okay, stay on the cat feed. Okay. So my cat has his colon removed, most of it. Some of it stays. Anyone ever experienced this, please let me know. And he's starved all the time. I can't even, it's just a mess. So anyway, accidents are happening, not as much. I've got him trained now. He'll use this like newspaper nest thing in my living room with a litter box on top of a plastic thing on top of a rug. Um, so this is amazing. It's got Enzyme Action Formula, Professional Pet Stain Out Odor Remover. This works, you guys. I mean, I've tried everything. This stuff works. Like sometimes I'll spray it and walk away and think, where'd it go? So I have gotten one and two because I like to have them on every floor and I use them a lot. Um, but I can say 100% if you have issues, try this. It's amazing because... I've had to have, I have to have my carpet cleaned three times, I think. We had the operation in January because I can't, I'm not, yeah, my house is not a litter box, but this helps a lot. Food, that, okay. Now, I was, the other night, it's really, I hated all my pillows, and I couldn't remember the last time I got a pillow. So I think I ordered it in the middle of the night. I don't know, I don't, I, you know, I found out I had TMJ, TJM. TMJ, something like that. We you grind your teeth. So, I don't know. Let me get rid of some of my pillows. We'll see. I don't know. Do you guys wash your pillows right when you get them? It's a gel pillow. What the hell does that mean? Beckham Hotel Collection. Okay, whatever. Careful instructions. Air well before you slough up and air frequently. Okay, you can wash it in cold water. Oh, it feels good. Anyway, we got two. Didn't know it was from the Beckham collection. Because they were a good deal, you know. Um, so I'm going to get rid of a couple. Well, one of my cats just threw up all over, so. Anyway. Yeah, so I have two new pillows. Okay, what else we got going on here? Um, I am very influenced by QVC. I think I'm going to say influenced, right? My mom loved QVC. It was on our house all the time. Dear God or Fox News. So let me tell you, it was QVC. Um, you know, I can be, I don't know, just sitting down for a minute and all of a sudden I need a snow blower. I do. I have hardly any snow to blow. And when there's a lot of snow, I would not there be blowing it, but I, I need that snow blower and literally have to like leave the room and talk to myself. That is how influenced I am. So it doesn't matter from like snow blower to clothes, to food, to a kitchen gadget. So my mom used to leave them on like background noise, like friends, you know, she felt like, you know, you do, you feel like, you know, just like on YouTube, you get to know people and chances you're going to meet anyone, but you just, you like them and something about their personality and chemistry clicks with you and you're know, like friends. So if your good friend David is trying to sell you some gourmet something or other, my mom would be on it. Um, but I succumbed. I did. Um, so I will admit, <laughs> never bought this before. I think I have till January, end of January. I think they're in that mode right now. But um, they sold me on this. This lady did. These are <laughs> graduated compression socks. Okay. They're called the original Muck Lux. So now, so cute, right? They're, so they're gonna go up over my thigh, not my thigh, my calf, take a drink. Um, that green, it matches my nails and blue. So my job has become very physical and they say you're gonna feel so much better when you wear these. Um, I don't know. There's a whole thing, you have to read instructions on how to put it on. So that's number one, a problem. Anyway, I don't know what to say. I'm sure it was reasonably priced and I'm sure I went on Amazon and yeah, I usually do that and price it out. But for a pair, we'll see. Maybe this can change my life. Maybe 
I mean, it feels so good. I'm going to exercise all the time. I want to walk. I'm going to get on the treadmill three times a day because of these. But I won't know if I don't buy them, but I will wear them because it's easily get in the back of my drawer. I think, yeah, where are those socks? Or I go to buy some. I'm like, wait, didn't you buy socks? Okay. I'm going to give you a report back. I'm going to hold myself accountable to you. But QVC is a problem. They have good deals. I'm not saying they don't. Um, my face stuff, I love from there. I get like 30% more. But do I need 30% more? Because makeup, I don't know. Anyway, and everything's the best. Anyway, it's a problem. So I haven't had, I've been watching YouTube and, you know, Trader Joe's and Dollar Tree, which is, you know. Anyway, thank you for listening. I appreciate it. I feel better. Okay. I never feel hydrated because I'm not drinking enough water. So... You know, Instagram is now ruined. Everything's ruined because they have ads. But they're sneaky as hell because somehow these ads are exactly what I want or was thinking about or need or didn't know existed. And it's tricky. Um, but then I go to Am uh, Amazon and try to find it there. So this is called hy hydra Hydrant Rapid Hydration Mix. So the whole point is start your morning with a rush of hydrant hydration. So I'm trying to have one of these in the morning. Um... Because it's not just about water. They have other things in here that make it better for your body to absorb. Um, so drink first thing in the morning and give every day your best shot. All for $3 a pack. I don't know. Haven't figured it out yet. Um, developed by an Oxford scientist, Hy Hydrant provides an optimal blend of electrolytes with just enough sugar to activate your body's sodium glucose cellular uptake. Okay, guys, did you know your body had a sodium glucose cellular uptake? That sounds fancy. Think of it like turning on a hydrant to speed water quickly and efficiently right to your cells. Now, how, how are you guys not going to go buy this? Don't you want to feel hydrated? Anyway, the little packets. I tried one. It tastes fine. And then I put them in a bag to do my unboxing and forgot. Anyway. So let me try this. There is, I don't know how many got 10. It's not a lot. I can't remember what I paid, but, uh, but you know, maybe I do this in the morning. I feel so darn good and I won't have coffee and coffee's expensive and I'll just have these. I love those vitamin C packages. Oh God, they're so good. Now I'll have to look and see. They're not, well, they're $10 for a bunch. So they're not as, yeah. Okay. In my hair brain brain, honestly, middle of the night is not good for me. I thought, you know, when we open to the public, I, I, I'm going to wear, oh my Lord, scrubs. I thought, look at this short sleeve. I thought I could put this right over my clothes and then come home and put these right in the washer dryer. You know, this is my great thinking. Um, so look how cute. We're nowhere near that yet. And um, it sounds like a bunch of trouble, but I told myself you can't buy more than one until you're doing it. Um, they look very uncomfortable. <laughs> I'd probably wear them pajamas, maybe. I don't know. Wash them, see what happens. I don't think that's the best idea for me. Um, we'll see. I don't know. I'm trying to think through things, you guys. It's, it's not easy. Okay, speaking of work, pandemic. Wearing a mask sucks. Just does. Thank God we have them now to wear them, but... Um, don't be eating something flavorful for your lunch and have that mask on because it's a nightmare. So I have to brush my teeth all the time. But you guys, ice breaker mitts, spearmint. Now again, I was yapping about on another thing about you cannot find spearmint. I don't like wintergreen, hate it. And peppermint, uh, I don't know. But these things, which again, I'm a professional. Do not do this on TV unless you've had the training I've had. So it has a little cute thing where you can get many, right? Just like a little, it comes sugar free too. Or you can get like one out. Anyway, they never ever had this spearmint at the grocery store. It's a wintergreen world. I don't like it. So I got a bunch of these from um, Amazon. So I have them, uh, I'm using them, it helps. Because otherwise, it's just gross. And it's, and, but I'm going to do it. I mean, it's not like you can't do it. Because, you know, you want to keep everyone healthy in your life. Or at least I kind of do. So, 
Okay, what else we got going? Oh, here's a hydrant that came out. All right, I got white duct tape. Several reasons. One, in my living room, the ants are coming out of this spot and it's pissing me off. I have my tarot. I don't want them coming back, so. I was thinking maybe I could squeeze hot glue. There's like a little gap by my door, like a French door thing that goes to nowhere. It doesn't go anywhere. Maybe I'll do hot glue. And I thought I'd tape it. Anyway, on my deck coming up to the right, there's a little wood rot going on the thing, the handle. So I thought maybe I could tape it up. I think I need to call my friend Kenny and have him look at it and decide. Maybe it's a simple fix and then I'm going to mess it up. Anyway, now I have a bunch of white duct tape. Okay, you guys. Now... This goes with the other, the food and the um, spray for the rug. Just not, I'm not going into detail because I think you guys are smart. Pure citrus, orange. I think it's like $3 for the, I don't know. So good. Like, can you smell that? It, I'm telling you, the poop lingering smell, yuck. You spray this around, you don't smell anything. You don't, it's not like orange poop. You just smell orange. This stuff is amazing. And it's all natural. Eliminates odors naturally. Non-aerosol. I'm telling you. I wonder though how you recycle it. Anyway. I buy these by the carton. Actually, I got them four. I think I'm down to two. Have them everywhere. What are you going to do? I'm a farmer's granddaughter. I should be able. Smell shouldn't bother me, but I'm not very good farmer's granddaughter because it grosses me out. Okay. So, go a couple more things and then I have some makeup I'm going to do next time. My friend is so thoughtful. And she's been buying these and she's buying them from me. Once upon a the time, there was a girl who really loved books and cats. It was me, the end. I mean, how cute. I got to frame them in their unusual size, right? But that, how thoughtful, isn't that sweet? Proclamation. Once upon a time, there was a girl who really loved books and cats and Trader Joe's in the Dollar Tree. And that girl was me. The end. So, I have got to figure out, measure and see if I can find a frame for that. Did you get me one? Yes. Did you get me two? Did you get me three? Four? Okay, she was on a tear. Time spent with books and cats is never wasted. And this one's like canvas. I love that green. I like my nail polish to be that green. Again, they're kind of unusual <coughs> sizes, but I'll have to measure and then Dare I brave the, the Miguel's, Michael? I'm going to have to. Okay. I don't think that, is that in here? Okay. Number three. Maybe she gave me, nope. That's what I do. I read books. I drink wine and I know things. I think they're like adorable frame together though. Maybe black frames. Isn't that cute? Oh my God. That wine and that book. Okay, I think this is the last one. Okay. And this is even different. I don't know. It's like a canvas, but it's not the rough. To kill a mockingbird. <laughs> so I think these framed in black all together, so there's four, will be so adorable. And I sold a picture over here. Let me show you. See that spot? And that's just too little there. I just put it there because it was bothering me. So I think if I can get these all uniformly framed, they would look so cute. Like they together would make a bigger statement. But anyway, my Angela, thank you. I mean, she doesn't watch this because she can't imagine why anyone would watch anyone talk about what groceries they bought or things they bought. Yet when we go thrifting, we do a show and tell. And we're gonna have the first one, I think since, since all this started, that I started my channel. So, um, yeah. 
Now I have a little bit of makeup. Um, I think I'll do that all like when the light's better. And But I got to do it. I bought it a while ago. And there it is. And I found some. Um, oh, no. That goes with the makeup. So, yeah. So, that is the majority of stuff I've had for two months. It's going to feel good to get it all put away and make some decisions. I, I'm really going to. You guys hold me accountable for these. Because um, I can do good. It's scrolled up sitting in a gift closet. So, I'm going to work on that. But okay, I think that's it. I'm tired. I've done a lot today. I've changed my shirt, so I look different. I have. Now, I can finish laundry and put stuff away and glory in how lucky and grateful I am for friends and family and um, fun stuff. I truly am grateful. And that's the hardest thing with depression is to connect to gratitude, to connect to love, connect to anything that, I don't know. It's really been bad this year. It's been a tough year for everyone. It's been a tough year with my cat being sick and my mom not here and so much suffering. And uh, I don't know, there doesn't seem like an end in the threat that our whole civilization is going to collapse. I don't know. You guys should watch Only My Dreams, Anna, talking about, you know, food and stuff. And you couldn't imagine this happened and it has. So to me, all bets are off that, um, you know. Things could change. Life as we know it could be very differently. But for now, I'm going to remember my gratitude, keep my feet on the floor, um, reach out to people to say, hey, I'm not feeling good or I need some talk or I just need some companionship. And But sometimes depression kind of, I don't know, the black dog at Winston Churchill talks about, it's a real thing. It's the hairy old black dog, smelly. You just don't even know that that's all you're staring at is a black dog. But I'm a strong girl and probably even a woman at this point. And um, yeah, so thank you guys. I appreciate it. Um, please comment and um, reach out. If you sometimes the best thing when you're feeling down is to reach out, is to help out somebody else. Um, yeah, I love everyone. And um, I hope to see you soon. I have a makeup one. And I gonna got pens to do. So there's happy things all around me. Just take care. I love you guys and I will see you soon. Bye.